I'm literally in the middle of getting ready, but hi, welcome back to my channel. It's 3 p.m. Um, and we're going to my bestie's house, my sister. We're gonna go and basically cook. I really enjoy cooking vlogs recently. I need to do my lip. I look very washed out, but it's dull outside and I was very pale anyways. I just, we're going for cozy, cozy fits, so yeah we normally always get together like dressed up in asian clothes but it's freezing outside and we need to go to a food shop before we go to her house so there was no way i was doing that in a kurta it's way too cold i have yet to do my lip combo and i've got concealer on my lips and it's not cute but i've been on the hunt for these revlon glass shine lip thingies and i couldn't find them anywhere and the only one i found was literally the white sparkly clear one and i'm probably not gonna wear it but i needed to see it it's like a, let me do my lip liner and I'll put this on and I'll show you guys. I've put on a brownie lip liner. This is literally what it is. It's a white sparkly, I don't know what it does. So let's put it on. Okay, it's, oh shit. I hate when I get lip liner on white or clear lip gloss. It's just very sparkly, I guess. It's like a clear sparkly gloss. It's very like hydrating. This is why I want the other shades because it's such a hydrating lipstick, which you don't find very often. Oh my God, I kind of like that. It's giving me like a frosty 90s lip. 90s? Did they wear a frosty lip in the 90s? I don't know. We literally finished our food shop around 6 p.m. We got home and we all started to do different things each. One was frying, one was baking, one was vlogging. Me. It was so chaotic in the kitchen, but I did try and record as much as I could. One of my friends was doing the cookies and then my sister got the frying stuff out the way because she's quick with that stuff. And then my other friend was decorating strawberries. I don't know why we planned such a big fat menu for like four of us. I don't know why she had the bowl right on the edge. I have anxiety watching this back right now, but it did not drop, I swear. They went in the oven, they came out just fine. We got all the oven frying stuff done and out the way and then she prepped her cracker boards they were so cute by the way and we served dinner 10 out of 10 it was lush me my sister and my bestie made our way to the shopping mall my friend is actually going abroad in a few days and she asked me to come along with her and do some makeup shopping and of course i said yes we actually grabbed a bunch of things for her and for myself that i didn't need so stay tuned for the little haul at the end shopping and then we went to go eat i was honestly so exhausted and full at this point i've literally had the most hectic few days but i'm gonna do a haul am i gonna do a haul yes yes i am did i need to buy anything again yeah i know like i wanted one or two things i came back with more than one or two things basically my best friend is going pakistan and then my other best friend is already in pakistan and like i'm hitting rock bottom but we went makeup shopping because my friend is gonna go to a few weddings and she wanted to go makeup shopping and i was like absolutely yes wow look at my i'm very dewy i don't know if that's like low-key sweat because i'm really hot um by the way my outfit changes like god knows how many times in this vlog because I was initially meant to do the dinner at my best friend's house with the girls. We cooked, we got very distracted and I barely recorded like the cooking process because shit got hectic. But then I had a few other things scheduled in the week and I was like, let me just turn it into one big thing. Oh, <sighs> it's getting really hot in here. But if I open the window, it's gonna get too cold, but I did have the heater on in here because because I have issues, okay? Never have I ever had such a symmetrical wing. Also, I've been loving a wing that kind of goes from here, 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 here. Not all the way in. Just like from the center-ish and out. I was a very big 
bag girl um and then somewhere in between i just got too lazy and i was like forget it i like can't be asked to take a bag anywhere so the hype kind of died out and then recently i keep seeing bags that i like and I feel like I have to have them because they're cute. And I feel like in the summer, cute bags, colorful bags, little mini bags. Oh, they're so cute. This might not be everyone's cup of tea. I got this cutesy bag. Look at it. Tell me that is not like the cutest bag you've ever seen. It also has like a big strap. They had this, right? It's quite, quite small. But cute. I feel like that's a nice size. And it's like... Um, I'm having a blonde moment. What is this called? It's like the... It's like hay, but obviously it's not a hay. It's so cute. And they had this one. And they had the same thing, but in a big, like, tote bag version. But I'm a mini kind of bag girl. So cute. So cute. I cannot wait to wear that. It's very bloody hot in this room. Like, I'm struggling. So I did not find any black jeans that I would woods i was i was looking for black jeans for god knows how long i cannot tell you how long it's been um and maybe i'm picky or maybe shopping has just got crap like yeah i looked everywhere and then it just got to a point where i get so impatient i'm like really low down i'm like sinking into my bed okay you know what if this situation is not looking right it's fine because it's hot and i'm bothered and i need to quickly make this like i'm hot in this but yeah my friend was wearing some really cute jeans like cute jeans we walked into zara and the jeans were there i got them i got them and i was so excited about these that i forgot about my black jeans palava so they're just they're just cutesy little grey jeans. Oh, my arms are not long enough. But yeah, and they're like a really nice fit. So I got those because they were cute and I was upset that I didn't find my black jeans. Then my Clinique balm actually ran out. I said that on my own. If one more thing goes wrong in this room, I'm going to lose my shit. I got the new Clinique balm because mine was finished and... Bro, they released a new one and it is, it's the charcoal cleansing balm. That looks very scary. My other one is very um, clear, but I've seen people use this and it literally, like, all of it comes off in one go. So maybe I'll try this when I'm done. We went to Max Factor because the lippy that I actually have on right now is a Max Factor a lipstick in the shade toasted almond and my friend loved it um and i was telling her how the formula is really good and whatnot and we went to max factor and they had three for two and she picked up two things that she liked and then she couldn't think of anything else and i was like that is my sign to pick up something so i got another lipstick by the way these lipsticks are so affordable i got it in the shame <laughs> i can't talk I got it in the shade Burnt Caramel, but the formula is very like, look, it's got a sheen to it, but, and I love the packaging, it looks so cute. Then we went to pick up, um, basically the iconic, what is it called? Radiance Booster that I actually used in my recent makeup tutorial, um, on my YouTube channel, if you haven't watched that go watch it right now what are you doing but anyways in that i used the iconic radiance booster and i was telling her how i loved it and me and her are pretty much the same complexion so any base product i use she'll go get the same shade or if she uses something and it's good she'll tell me and i get the same shade because we know we're both literally the same right so we went to get that and then we got distracted because i had a whole like clearance thing and they had a bunch of stuff there and my sister picked up these Spectrum, they're like Emily in Paris inspired Macaron beauty blenders. Basically, she picked them up and she was like, guys, oh my God, look at these, they're so cute. And we were like, yeah, yeah, that's so cute. And then we left and I was looking in the bag and they were in the bag and no one asked this girl to get them and she doesn't even like makeup like that. So she got them for me, you know? They're very cute. I love 
love Milani baked blushes. My favourite one is in the shade Dolce Pink. It's the perfect pinky, Barbie pinky blush shade and it's got like tiny little goldy reflexes in it. When you put it on your skin oh, in the summertime, just like a teeny bit of sun hits your face and you're going to look so good. What blush do I have on? No, I don't have that on right now. Um, but yeah, I saw it in this shade, Bella Bellini. It's a paler pink than the one I've got. The one I have is like a Barbie pink. This is a bit more, I wouldn't say pale pink, but it's definitely a lighter pink. But I love these. Again, I feel like something's in my eye. Never mind. They're affordable, kind of, like it's not a £30 blush and it's long lasting it's just so cute i did not even know this was a thing why did i not know that um if you've not tried the makeup revolution irl foundation i suggest you go and do that right now but i went to the counter the counter the stand the makeup revolution stand and i thought these were testers for the foundation and then don't because if it actually no it's a concealer i was like imagine i'm saying that and it is they released a concealer to match we know i love a good concealer and i didn't even listen i have a thing like testers i don't mind like lip ones checking them on the back of my hand but why are people like the concealer testers look like someone tried to eat them not to like blow my own trumpet but i'm pretty good at matching my stuff just like by looking at it online not so much but that's not what we're talking about here i like pink and lilac stuff and i picked this up and my sister was like i literally have like three lint rollers in my room and i was like are they lilac with flowers on them and she said no so this Show me a little bit of cute packaging and I'm going to buy that shit. I was like, let's get this for my little sister. And she was like, is it a good idea to get a 12 year old lip plumpers? Probably not. I just wanted someone to buy them because it was cute and then no one wanted them. So I was like, okay, I'll get it. Look at it. It's a little truck. Shut up. But they're three minis for £21. And I think one big one is 20 i don't know it was a good price okay that is so cute are you telling me that is not the cutest thing you've ever seen i don't think i went crazy this time i just picked up what i would call essentials okay something is itching this eye and i don't know what it is we did pick up some presents for my little sister because her birthday is literally in just over a week but i'm not going to show them on here because she watches my youtube and then she's going to see what we got her my dad just rang me but i really need to wrap this up i'm sorry dad anyways i went into foot asylum to look for something for my little sister or my little brother but they're both so picky and it's hard like to pick up anything and just take it home but i didn't actually see anything that i thought they would like anyways and then we walked over a little bit to go look at the baby stuff as you do the baby shoes and the jacket the coats we always go there we look at the baby stuff and it was so cute and then literally you turn around and the women's trousers joggers all that stuff was there and i found the nicest khaki cargoes I've ever seen in my life like why did I not know these exist also look how stunning I don't know if the light is going to pick it up how it is but it is the most stunning shade of khaki and they're like a baggy fit which I love that was it that is the end of my haul so sorry we ended it with bad lighting but you know it's, it's okay I feel like that was very successful considering I went with my friend who was going to do a shop and why did I come back with a bunch of crap? I don't know. I'm going to head out but I hope you guys enjoyed my haul and like yeah. I just woke up and I've not even been keeping track of the days but it's currently four in the morning, half four. Um, 
Me and my sister are going with my uncle to drop my other uncle off to the airport. Did they ask us to come? No, we invite ourselves because I thought it'd be fun. I look so swollen. That's not a cute look. But um, I was going to stay in my PJs, but then I realised we're probably going to have to get out and say bye because, you know. So I got into a comfy outfit. So yeah. Everyone's going today, you know. We just got back and it's eight o'clock. Um, that was so fun. I would definitely do that again, but I am beyond shattered. So I'm gonna go to sleep for like an hour or two and then get up slowly. Cause if I don't sleep now, I'm not gonna be able to function properly. Cause I slept super late. Can we just talk about how? I literally chucked on some concealer and powder and where is my lip balm but why does this look better than the hour two hour long makeup that i do don't know also it is minus two degrees it was not even this cold when we went at four five o'clock in the morning and it's like frosty everywhere it's not cute <laughs> i should have been leaving the country but i didn't unfortunately so yeah i'm gonna sleep and then Hopefully by the time I get up, I will edit this whole vlog and have it up for you guys. But yeah, I am going to end the vlog here just in case I forget to finish it off or my nap extends to like a very long one. Um, Because I'm saying an hour or two and watch me get up at dinner time. But yeah, I can sleep for hours and hours and hours and I can barely keep my eyes open. So I'm going to end the vlog here. By the way, I wasn't documenting what day we were on. And I only just realised that now. So I've done all this stuff over the course of like four days or something. I don't know. I'm sorry. But um, yeah, I love you guys. And I love freaking vlogging. I wanted to vlog in the entire airport, but it was like people were cranky. It was early and like i was gonna piss someone off so i just didn't but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching and yeah my duvet is ready for me to jump back in mm -hmm.